the hatchery and he's gonna engage with the stalker. He doesn't care about the Dark Tennis powers anymore. He's gonna go for the jugular. Maybe no, not, not quite yet. He's actually retreating. And right now, three zero stalkers. Ooh, awfully powerful. Again, zero zero Hydra is not the place you wanna be. And each of these do 13 damage and 17 versus armor, and that will melt these Hydra very, very quickly as they have really high mobility. And he really needs to get the creep out more with creep tumors or overlords some sort of way. We do see ground armor being upgraded as well as finally the Zerg is getting some upgrades for his ground army but still 0-0 at the moment versus 3-0 we see a couple of Templars maybe he's thinking about ending this battle very very soon as both players are nearing the 200 mark ooh this is very exciting stuff Zealots doesn't actually have charge just yet and this overlord is just hanging out there's two additional gateways it is also an error on my part I also don't turn my gateways into workers we see a battle in the front one storm goes off, two storm goes off, a couple of force fields. Very, very good, forcing the Zerg player back. And now he's working forward. He's going to try to take down some overlords. And these. Ooh, one preemptive storm, second storm. Does catch a couple of mutilists there. He doesn't want to get completely surrounded. That's why he has a couple of sentries. And a feedback goes off on the overseer. One storm goes off, two storm goes off. Very, very good storm placement. These. Mutilists are rather low on HP, a little bit just because of the storms, and these roaches are going to go and engage. We do see additional Zerglings being worked in, as well as a greater Spire. And we do see some Zerglings going to harass this on the side, but that's not going to matter because it doesn't have any probes there. And we do see very, very nice play. Ooh, these, stock, these uh, High Templars are a little bit out of position, I think. Or maybe he wants it on that side, but this next is going to go down. Maybe it will get cancelled. We will see if it goes down or it gets cancelled, and I think it will go down. And Storms in the back, Templar is fighting off the Mutalist, Stalker is fighting off the Hydralist, very very good play, ooh, but these High Templars are a little bit off guard. And Greater Spire in the front, not a good idea, and he does take it down, there are two High Templars in the mix. And we do see he's trying to take down that Nexus, it does go down rather easily, but there's not much point. And he's trying to snipe these Mutalists. And these Zealots will go down, but the mass army of Stalkers, 3-1 upgrade, very, very nice. 1-0 upgrade for his air units, and we do see a couple of Brew Lords forcing the Stalkers back. We see a couple of Zerglings. Maybe we'll ruin the day of Hazu once again if he decides to expand. We see some unit movement. Ooh, these these Brutals are very, very long. Okay, because of the Stalkers. If we take a look at the income, both players are about the same, even though the Zerg has a 3 base advantage for some time, but he's just getting his 4th up. He doesn't have the uh, time to get all of his units for the mineral lines, and we do see one High Templar on the top. And we might see an engagement between Stalker, Stalker's Blinken, take off 1 Middle two Middle Wow, that is only a very, very limited number of shots. Very, very good upgrades. 3-1 versus 1-0 on the air, I believe, and I think 1-1 on the ground. 1-0 on the ground as well. And then finally getting the Ultralisk Cavern that he really needs against the Stalker army, but I'm not sure if Ultralisk might be the answer to three upgraded Stalkers because they are tremendous to deal with, and these Mutals are taking out that, not that many pros, but he does take out the Nexus, I think, will go down soon. These Stalkers are running from the Brew Lords, doesn't have a good way to deal with them, and he's going to try to take down some enemies before he runs completely away and ooh these stalkers are inside the base. Mule is trying to sandwich them in here and these stalkers should be able to pick off these mules if they just hold an attack for one second and these stalkers while these stalkers are backing off these stalkers are actually trying to kill off the hatchery over here. He does kill off a building over there and forces the cancel on I think the ultralist then. And the ultralist then is going up once again at a different location and these stalkers still inside the base. These brewers finally come over. Brewers are awfully slow and boy rays are a very good counter to the lords because the lords don't really hit air and basically if you kill off the hydralis with the stalkers in the storm you will have free range with the boy rays very good idea we do see the flux veins upgrade for the boy rays coming up this has turned into a very epic game action over place supply block once again the zerg player leaving his overlords at places he doesn't want to and he loses another 100 gas on that overseer and these stalkers are doing tremendous damage at the moment going wherever they want and this I think these roaches are not really attacking because they actually rally outside and now they're gonna fight 1-0 versus 3-1 not the place you wanna be and the blue lord show up forcing these stalkers back and the stalkers are gonna fall back both players trying to think of the right unit composition because right now the army is pretty darn close both players have the capacity to hit 200 right now because these warp gates 
are cooling down, but once they cool down, both players will have the capacity to hit 200, but they're looking for the right unit mixes. It's not about one glob versus another glob to see whose glob is bigger, because both globs are going to be about 200. Food, so it's not going to matter too much. Both players are trying to get the right composition and the right time, the right technique to hit the other player the hardest to prevent him from recovering. We do see a couple of ultralists coming out as long as well as the double, the plus two plating for the ultralist being researched. Both players getting additional gas and minerals. And we do see one engagement, a huge engagement. A Bulor does get picked up by the stalkers who blink inside and now they're blinking outside. No, actually he's actually blinking inside. And there's two cans over here defending for his half of the map. He's Liquid Hapo is not actually spreading the creep too much, and he's getting these overlords up into the middle to spread the creep. And we do see a drop, not a drop, but a bunch of bunch of void rays coming in. And he might be pick up that ultralist. He's not gonna pick up the. He's gonna go for the hive. Very very smart idea. If he can pick up the hive and the ultralist caravan, this could be huge. While that hive is going down, we do see a battle in the front. He doesn't have. He does have an overseer. He does ha actually wasted a lot of minerals on the overseers because he does got a lot of them sniped by these stalkers. Boy Ray's hitting this overlord on the side, but I don't think he supply cap. But he did lose the hive. That is a lot of gas. Ooh, that is not a good trade. And we do see the creep is actually decreasing. If you take a look at over here, the creep is lowering, and these units will start losing HP. Not the units. These production buildings will start losing HP. If he does not put the hatchery back, that is a minor fact of StarCraft 2, but a huge part in this game. He really needs to throw down hatchery right now. This stuff is running into a wall of spine crawlers, but that is no problem for that number of upgraded stalkers. And what we see is engagement, and he's going to try to take down this base. Right now, we take a look at the income, both players. Liquid Hapo actually well ahead in income, but he doesn't really have the army to deal with these 3-0, 3-2 stalkers now. Very, very good stalker play by Hazu, and he's running back that lone drone. One drone survives the attack and will be able to run away, and these troop tumors put down will prevent Hazu from taking that base for quite a while, unless they take him out. We do see 3-2 upgrades versus how, let's how much? Four, ooh, 2 2 upgrades, not too bad. And we see an engagement 2. And these, wow, those, the powerful stalkers are able to take down one ultralist there from one nice snipe. And oh my god, the buildings are actually losing HP. He really needs to put down a hatchery right now. Come on, put down a hatchery. You have 300, 3,000 minerals. 3,000 minerals, you can put down, can't put down one hatchery. And then we do see stalkers engaging these blue lords. They don't really want to engage the blue lords. And the void rays are caught a little bit out of position. They could come in and help. Because these units are not what you want to deal with with Void Rays. If you could take out these Hydralis, you have free reign with the Void Rays. But at the same time, Hydralis is exactly what's keeping Liquid Hapro in the game versus these Void Rays. And he does have them in good position right now. We do see additional Void Rays being reduced as well as a Hatchery. Is he putting down the Hatchery? No, he's not putting down the Hatchery over here. Oh man, he really needs that one Hatchery. Just one Hatchery. 300 minerals. Come on, you can spare it. You have 3,500 minerals. But we do see the... Two Voyrays trying to kill off this one hatchery. That's not going to happen. We do see Stalkers moving up with one Immortal in the mix against the very, very handsome Ultralist. Well, not handsome, but very, very deadly. We do see that Liquid Haber has trying to got, get his island expansion, but the Voyrays will prevent that. We do see Stalkers moving in, and will the hatchery get cancelled? Ooh, and the Overlords uh, again out of position. And one volley, two volleys kill off one of the Ultralists. Wow, that is very, very... Nice upgrades by the Stalkers. Two volleys kills off with one of this. That is amazing. We do see Voyrays running across the map. Gonna go. I'm not sure where they're going. These Voyrays are actually gonna go down, but he's trying to join his buddies on the side. Preventing that island expansion while Hazu has gotten the island expansion for himself. Action all over the map. This is one epic game, guys. We do see 32 upgrades versus 2 upgrades. 0. And there's 3 3 upgrades now. Stalker's blinking and finally getting the upgrades for Liquid Hapro. Now he's going to try to take down this base once again. And oh man, this is going to suck. Wow, Roach Warren, Ultralist, and Hydralist then are going to go down if he doesn't put down Hatchery. Man, this is a huge slip up by Hapro. And he does take down the Hatchery. Hazu does take down the Hatchery for Hapro. And these Ultras are coming in, but he should be able to take down. Ooh, actually, takes down Overs here. Not too bad, not too bad. 
These Brew Lords are chasing the Stalkers, and the Stalkers are actually moving a little bit in position. You're gonna try to snipe out the Brew Lords, and he does take down three of the Brew Lords. Very, very good play by Hazu at the moment. Both Army Clown very near 200, but Army Count is not what matters because both players can produce 200 at any time they please, but it's all about the composition. And we do see these Stalkers moving out the map controlling the map very very nice demeanor and we do see one storm going off luring him in not quite going inside these observer actually getting to see exactly what he needs to see and the overseer doesn't actually spot him to kill it off nope actually survives warrior working on the hatchery once again not insufficient hatcheries can't get enough production up and we do see at the same time while those boy rays are fighting Ooh, Voyrage picks up an Overseer, picks off an Overseer once again. And now he's gonna come and take off a couple of these Overlords and Supply Block once again. Very, very annoying. Not only do you lose hatcheries, you also lost the Supply from the Overlords and... Ooh, one volley picks off and also the second volley and he's blinking back. Storm's going off he's thinking about ending it right here, maybe? And two Stormers actually blink up there and it's... Storm goes off, not actually hitting anything. A lot of Zerlings being produced. I don't think Zerlings are what you need. You, normally, Zerlings are great against the Stalkers, but oh man, he's lost the Hydralis then, he's lost the Ultralis then, he's gonna lose the Roge Warren. Ooh, at some point, he's gotta realize I'm losing stuff left and right, and he just lost the Hatchery. He only has one Hatchery working, and he can make Roaches and Zerglings. Oh man, he lost his completely anti air capabilities already, and now coming with the Observer, picking off the Creep Tumor. This game is not turning well for Liquid Hey Bro. I think the huge blunder was he forgot about the Hatchery. He needs to put down a Hatchery over here. We do see a bunch of, maybe a desperate drop. A bunch of Ultralis are gonna go inside the base. At the same time, Stark is a little bit out of position to respond. He will be to take down quite a bit of the base, but I'm not sure at what point, what he can do at this moment. He only has one Hatchery, two Hatcheries. Ooh, two Hatchery versus a lot of Gateways. That is not too good. That is a lot of Gateways. Still functional. He still has a large army around. Capped out at 200 Stalker and Voyrays army with a couple of Templars. Very, very good unique mix. And we will see that he will be able to defend this, I think. And these Ultralis have nowhere to go but just down. But he can take down a couple of... Oh, he's actually going to try to pick him off with the Overlords. Will he be successful? He does pick up one... Man, oh man, if we look at the army count, it's about 150 to 200. It's, oh, this Roach Warren is gonna go down as well, I think. And he has no more larva to spawn another. He doesn't have enough Overseers. Overseer coming in right now, but he, this is doing a lot of damage. He can only make Roaches and Zerglings. Ooh, Roaches and Zerglings is not gonna save you from these Void Rays. Even though there's only four Void Rays, but that is all you need. The Roach Warren is finally gonna go down. Now the only units that he can make is gonna be Zerglings. Oh man, oh man. And Investors, but I mean Investors versus... That's <laughs> a huge army. We do see um, Dark Templars being warped in somewhere. And this game is about to be over, I think. There, unless, by some miracle, you win the game with Zerglings. We do see a couple of Hydralis with Zerglings rushing in to fight off a large, large Stalker. And, ooh, Storm's going off everywhere. Very nice Storm. You don't really need to do that as your opponent can only Zerglings. And these Hydralis are going to be the last of the army, I believe. And Storm's go off everywhere in Liquid Halo. All GG. What an epic game. Nice play by both players, a little stumble over here by the hatcheries. If you enjoy that, please subscribe. This is GG Your Face, always GG Your Games, and if you don't want to GG Your Games, at least say GG Your Face. Till next game, guys. Later.